I am here with a lovely new edible food that I have just learned. It's not new. Lots of people knew about it, but I haven't spent very much time around it. So I'm just getting to know it and it is so delicious and incredibly abundant around here. This is Siberian Elm. And while it looks like it's covered in all of these lovely light green leaves, these are not in fact the leaves. They are the fruits. So this type of fruit is what's known as a Samara. A Samara is a seed encased in a winged vegetative structure. Maple are one of the most common Samaras that most people are familiar with. That big seed and that papery wing structure. So this is similar, but a different shape. The beautiful thing about these is that they are edible and delicious. They're quite tender, they are mildly sweet, and they're almost mucilaginous. Unlike a lot of greens, they are also a lot higher in protein because they have a seed inside them. So an awesome wild food. Not only do they have all of those wonderful things, delicious, abundant, high in protein, but these are an invasive species, which means that we're actually doing the local ecology a service by harvesting them. And because this is the fruit and not the leaf, we're not doing this individual tree any harm by harvesting all that we want to from it. So there's no such thing as over harvesting from an invasive species that is just the fruits that we're after. Oh my goodness. How many more wonderful things can there be about this wild food? <laughs> so I'm going to harvest a bunch and try a variety of different recipes and see what all can be done with the lovely Samaras of the Siberian Elm. Gently running your finger down the branch is a good way to harvest them. Normally I would be very selective. I would take a bunch here and there and leave a lot of them. But again, this being an invasive species, I'm not too fussed about it. I still want to give a lot of thanks and respect to the plant, not take it for granted, but I'm not too concerned about having an impact on its population because an impact on its population is very unlikely just from harvesting a few fruits and there's no problem impacting the population of a plant that isn't really supposed to be here. Here they are all clustered on a branch. The branches are really delicate. It's really easy to snap them off. But again, this is a tree that's everywhere, really ubiquitous and not particularly good for the landscape. So I do try not to break off the branches, but it's also really not the end of the world to break off the branches. The seed in the center and then this papery wing all around it. So we're getting both the vegetable-y flavor of the wing when it's still young and green and tender and the protein of that developing seed. You don't want to let these get too ripe before harvesting them. Get them while they're fresh and bright green and before the leaves themselves come out. Shortly after the leaves of the tree start coming out and growing more, these are gonna start turning yellow and then a little bit more browned and dry and they're not gonna be so delicious. So young and green and tender is what we're after. Really good. Check out the abundance of this tree. One tree, so many clusters of Samaras. Salad on a branch. So you can see the leaves themselves are just starting to come out. This, let's see a profile right there are the leaves, but all of the rest of these are the Samaras. So the leaves are starting, so this is the perfect time to be harvesting them. By being gentle, I can pull the Samaras off, but not those little green leaves at the edges of the branches.
less than 10 minutes foraging, a big old bag of salad. Check out my coming recipe ideas on ways you too can use Siberian elm samaras. Bon appetit!